Assuming that I'll be able to play this game. Haven't had a case in ages, not since the recession. Spend my work days playing free cell, kind of an obsession. Wow. That Bamble mouse. Ah, it's Pomplamoose. Pomplamoose. Oh my god. Your rent's late again. I'm sorry, Ms. Rathbone. It's just that there hasn't been much. Yeah, yeah, you've been saying that for months now. Well, I'm tired of letting you stay here rent free, and I mean it this time. Either you pay up now, or I take your stuff out on the curb and change the locks. You hear me? Great. There's gotta be something around here I can use to get out of this mess. At least I damn well hope so. It's just a pile of mail, a bunch of bills I haven't paid. I can't believe the lights still turn on in this place. Wait a minute, what's this? Dominique, hope you're well. Your father and I just got back from Cancun. Unfortunately, he wound up with a bad case of the runs, but other than that, we had a lovely time. Have you cleaned your office lately? Last time we dropped by, it was a pigsty, and I tell you, that's not the kind of impression you want to give to your clients. Anyway, take this plot of cash and buy something nice to wear other than that ratty trench coat, for goodness sakes. Love, Mom. Huh, a wad of cash. Thanks, Mom. I knew I could count on you to bail me out of this mess. No! Uh, this is... Oh. God dang it! All that... It'd probably be a good idea. This is all I've got. Hmm. Not quite, but I want the rest in 48 hours, Pimplehead. That's exactly 2,880 minutes, at which time I'll be back, and you damn well better have my money by then. Well, I've bought myself some time at least, but now what am I going to do? Gotta come up with more money. Really need to focus. <laughs> Hoping that some work will turn up so I won't be homeless. Excuse me, sir. Oh, that was quick. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry. Should that be madam? I can never tell these. Just Dominique is fine, thanks. What can I do for you? I have somewhat of a predicament. I'm looking for a certain man. Are you familiar with the singer? Casey Bingham, pop star extraordinaire. Oh my god. This game. <laughs> oh my god. Casey Bingham? I've sort of heard of him, I think. I'm not very in on pop music these days. He'd been comforting with my daughter. Rather inappropriately. That is, until he up and disappeared, leaving town quite unexpectedly. Do I know you? You look a little familiar. My name is Bruton's Van Records, huh? That's a uh, wow. I don't think I've ever had such a fancy schmancy client's case. 
This might just mean really good things for me. Oh. Why would she hire me in the first place? Okay. You run Vandung Records. That's like the entire music industry in this town, isn't it? What can I say? I worked hard to get myself where I am now. Tell me a bit about your daughter. She's been acting rather standoffish. Devon, by the way, that's her name. Maybe you could ask her some questions. The mall's where she usually goes these days. <laughs> so impossible. So this Casey Bingham dude, I guess he's breaking some sort of sexual harassment policy in his contract? No, no, I wouldn't call it harassment exactly, but for goodness sakes, she's a child and doesn't know any better. And him going off and leaving like this? Doesn't that solve the problem then? Him leaving? You'd think so, but not when he's my best-selling platinum artist in possession of, uh, suffice to say, he can't be easily replaced. So you say this Casey guy's been macking on your daughter and you want me to- Yes! All right then. Your daughter's most teenagers- All right, track down Casey Bingham's whereabouts, anything else? That would be all. If you find anything out or have any questions, I'll be in my home office at 1420 Humperdinck Way. Until then, adieu! Good, good. Well, that's that, I guess. Time to actually get to some real work for a change. Hey, I wonder if the internet's working yet. <clears throat> My laptop's old as hell, likely weighs about 15 pounds. I can't believe that people used to carry these things around. It's barely even useful for stealing the neighbor's Wi-Fi. I have to keep it plugged in so the batteries don't die. Casey Bingham, 23-year-old pop music superstar discovered by Van Dunn Records four years ago. Famous for such number one hits as Your Nose is Like a Rose and My Flammable Heart. Always wears a signature mohawk and necktie while performing. Resides in a $3.6 million house in the affluent Cuthbert Heights neighborhood. Aha, now I know where this guy lives. Thank you, celebrity stalking internet. Prudence Van Dunn, relatively unknown until six years ago, suddenly appeared with her recording company, Van Dunn Records, eviscerating all the competition in town overnight. Frequently cited as an influential force in pioneering the perfectly in tune style of singing in modern pop music, much to the detriment of people with good taste everywhere. Devin Van Dunn, apparently a student in her senior year at Ainsley M. Warrington Secondary School. Not much else to go on other than that. Ugh. There's rodents everywhere, their numbers have inflated. I can't even afford to keep the mouse trap baited. They keep eating my food, there's hardly enough left for me. At least they haven't started to peck at me while I'm sleeping. Very good. Ah. This place is such a dump, it's all I can afford these days. I hate looking at these walls, I keep meaning to redecorate. It's always cold and drafty, except when it's unbearably hot. I really like to move, but it's looking likely not. Okay, this is good. It seems like the old Half-Life Home walking sound effect, because I'm pretty sure it is. Welcome to my lovely office. It's so nice to see you oh here. My God. This is Please so do gross. try not to break anything, or you'll be booted in the rear. Okay, okay, this game is later.